Stinger's suspension features McPherson front and multi-link rear setups plus adaptive dampers, the latter adjustable viable a drive mode selector. There is also electronic power steering and an available all-wheel drive system with electronic torque vectoring. Rear-wheel drive versions get a mechanical limited slip differential. The four-cylinder Stinger is fitted as standard with 18-inch wheels shod with 225-45 size tires. The V6 model comes with staggered 19-inch wheels with 225-40 size tires up front and a 255-35 size set in the rear. The V6 model also benefits from Brembo brakes with four piston calipers up front and two piston calipers in the rear. Performance specs are yet to be announced but we know the V6 model hits 60 miles per hour from rest in 5.1 seconds. At 114.4 inches, the Stinger's wheelbase is longer than that of rival coupe-like sedans such as the Audi A5 Sportback, BMW 4 Series Grand Coupe and Mercedes-Benz CLS, which means interior space should be generous for the class. Kia also boasts that cargo space is also larger than in many rivals. Inside, you'll find all the modern touches as well as a few premium options such as Napa leather and a 15-speaker Harman, Kardon sound system. The center console is split into two specific areas. The infotainment controls sit below a large color touch screen, while the climate and ventilation controls NIS lay beneath. There are also electronic driver aids such as adaptive cruise control, collision warning, and blind spot and cross traffic warning. Kia has confirmed that sales of the Stinger will start in late 2017. Pricing information will be announced closer to the market launch but should fall somewhere between the $32,000 starting price of the Cadenza and $50,000 price of the K900.